Um, so my name is Malta Emmett. My role in this session is to pass the microphone from person to person. Um, and this is our agenda. So as you see, it's quite, quite packed. We have a tight schedule, uh, a far too optimistic schedule. Um, so I would ask all the winners, all the runners-up, all the honorable mentions to sort of start work, walking towards the stage as soon as you see your name um, on a slide. Uh, many of the awards are sort of surprise awards, so uh, because it's competition results and so on that haven't been announced yet. Um, so if, if you're sort of in one of these categories, you have to run even faster, right, or, or, or already be closer to uh, the, the sort of this end of the room. Um, if you know you've won something like the best dissertation or a conference award, uh, you can, of course, act strategically uh, and already be in one of the front rows now. Okay, so that's me filling the time for people to arrive. Uh, the first person to speak will be one of our uh, program chairs, Sven Koenig, to present the conference awards. And I'm running as instructed. Um, so there are three reasons why ICAPS is the top conference on planning and scheduling. Um, the first one is uh, the top researchers in the world attended. That's you guys. Uh, the second reason is that we get papers of a tremendous quality. In fact, this was very, very hard to decide on the, the Best Paper Awards. Uh, so it's my pleasure to announce the Best Paper Award, uh, which goes to the paper, The Provable Virtue of Laziness in Motion Planning, by a team from Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Washington. And as you all give them a hand, uh, can I ask the authors please to come up front? We also have a Best Student Paper Award, which goes to the paper, A Generic Method to Guide HDN Progression Search with Classical Heuristics, from a team of the University of Ulm. And I should uh, mention that you have not missed that paper presentation yet. It is tomorrow at 11.30. Now, there's a third reason why ICAPS is the top conference on planning and scheduling, and that is the high review quality. I mean, it's amazing. Most people don't see this behind the scenes. Long reviews and very detailed discussions. And just to show you, um, the reviews are really tremendously detailed. Um, I printed out one of the longer reviews. It's just one review for one paper, I can't show you the front for privacy reasons, but here we go, okay, <laughs> one review. Now, um, typically, right, a conference has an SPC um, award and a PC award. We have them as well. We have the outstanding leading PC member for the SPC award and the outstanding PC member. But we notice that a lot of good reviews come from what's often called an auxiliary reviewer. So often, right, the lead of the research group is on the PC, and then they asked the team members to pitch in with a review or two, and we felt that, that that tremendously work doesn't get enough recognized, so we also have an outstanding auxiliary reviewer award. Um, here are all of the, the folks who have won it. I think only one of them is here, and as Sylvan comes up, uh, please give a, a hand for all of the great quality of reviewing. Thank you very much. And with that, let me hand the mic back to Martin. Yes, so we will continue with the Best System Demonstration Award, which was decided yesterday, and it will be presented by one of the demo chairs, Neil York-Smith. Um, I, I, I think I forgot to say we're also taking photos, right? Like all the winners, all the honorable mentions, uh, smile towards Kartik and get your photo taken. Great, thank, thank you, Martin. Okay, Best System Demonstration was decided by you. So yesterday, you may have filled in one of those little voting forms and put it in my box. We tallied those up, and that gave us the, the uh, winners for this best system demonstration. And the award is sponsored by SIFT, so there is a cash check for the winners. We have two, category, uh, two prizes, as it were, uh, the best system demonstration and the runner-up. And the runner-up is a team from ASU and IBM Research. Come on up, guys.
And I'll also ask to come to the stage the winners, a team from University of Toronto and MIT. Come on up. The winners? Where are the winners? Come on. You've won. Yes, that's you. As we're waiting. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, four different competitions going on here. The classical IPC, the temporal IPC, the probabilistic IPC, and the, uh, what's the exact name? The logistics robots in simulation. Um, I won't take the mic between the presentations because we don't have the time, right? Uh, so we start with a classical IPC, um, and that will be, uh, and that, that, that's a bunch of different tracks, uh, and the chairs for that were Alvaro Toralba and Florian Pomerini. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, we want to, to thank uh, the ICAPS community because uh, they have uh, a sponsor of the competition. Uh, by giving an, uh, an, a cash uh, prize uh, for every of the uh, main awards that we have uh, of $250. Hmm? Euros. Oh, Euros, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, now we are going to, to announce uh, the winners of, of every track, finally. Uh, oh, and uh, we will announce uh, more detailed results uh, in, uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, so let's start with the optimal classical track. And the runner-up uh, for the optimal classical track is uh, the planner complementary by Santiago Franco, uh, Levi, Lelis, Mike Barley, Stefan Edelkamp, Moses Martinet, and Jonut. So, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have to look at the camera. <laughs> 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 okay, and uh, the winner of the optimal classical track goes for Delphi One by uh, Michael Katz, Sirin Sorabi, Holtz, Samuel Lovitz, and uh, Sylvan Sivers. So let's continue with the next uh, track, which is the satisfying classical track. And uh, the runner-up uh, uh, winners are uh, LAFKT Dual BFWS <laughs> for, uh, by Nid Lipovetsky, Miguel Ramirez, Guillaume Frances, and Hector Gardner. You could have chosen a, a more friendly name. Uh, okay, you have all the... <laughs> so, yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. But run. <laughs> Hector is not here? Come on, Hector. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> and the winner of the satisfying classical track goes for. Uh, Jendrick Sape, uh, Gabriel Roger for Fast Dangwar Stone Soup and Fast Dangwar uh, Remix. Two more classical tracks remaining. 
The next one is the Agile track, and uh, the runner-up uh, of the Agile track uh, goes for Sarplan by Maximilian Ficker, Daniel Gnat, Patrick Speicher, and Jörg Hoffmann. Best planner in Saarland. <laughs> so, congratulations. <laughs> and uh, the winner of the Agile Classical Track uh, is for Again, LAPKT, PFWS, preference uh, by Nir Lipovetsky, Miguel Ramirez, Guillaume Frances, and Hector Gerner. One more classical track uh, remaining is the new uh, track that we did this time, the cost bonded uh, classical track, and the runner up is uh, again Sarplan by Maximilian Flickert, uh, Daniel Nat, Patrick Speicher, and Jörg Hoffman. <laughs> Congratulations again. <laughs> Okay, and uh, the winner of the cosmonded classical track is uh, Fast Down Wireless Soup and Fast Down Remix uh, by Jendrick Safe and Gabriel Royer. <laughs> And finally, uh, well, uh, doing the IPC is a lot of work, and, uh, but we got the help of uh, many people from the community that uh, gave us uh, domains. And uh, we wanted to reward this work by, by a, a, an additional award that, uh, from uh, the best uh, domain submission or an outstanding domain submission. And uh, this goes for Organic Synthesis by Hadi Kovici, Armand Masumi, Anne Johnson, Russell Birre, Andrew McWilliams, and Mikhail Sutsansi. Um, I think they are not here, but well, we can give them an applause. Uh, to... okay. okay, so um, I do come here after all between the competitions because, of course, I have to tell you who organized the competitions. So the next one, the temporal one, uh, was organized by Moises Martinez, um, Amanda Coles, and Andrew Coles, and Moises is going to present the results. Hello everybody, thank you so much and thank you for the community to, to give us the prize and all of this and for sending the planners and everything and I don't know how, okay. Okay, we only have one track, the satisfying track and okay. the runner out of the temporal track of the IPC this year is CPT, CP4TP for Andy Jorson and Daniel Furelos Blanco. I don't know. Either. I think that they are not here, yes. Okay then. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, finally, the winner is uh, Tempor, Tempor II from Isabel Zamor, Mauro Balati, Lucas Chirpa, Fernando Fernandez, and Tomás de la Rosa. I think that they are not here, then we'll send the diplomas. And thank you so much.
So the probabilistic IPC was organized by Thomas Keller. I think it was a bit of a probabilistic competition also in terms of getting it done in time, but uh, Thomas mentioned, so thank you very much for that. And he's going to present the winners. Okay, thank you, Malte. Yes, I, I've known the winners since uh, yesterday, so um, I've been quite in good time. Um, there's also just one track. Um, the runner-up of the probabilistic IPC um, is the Planner Random Bandit by Anura Kuhl, Murugesvari Isakimutu, Ellen Fern, and Prasad Terdepali. I think they are not here. No, I, I don't think they are here. And the winner of the competition is the Planner of Prost uh, DD by Florian Geiser and David Speck. So our final competition is the logistics robots in simulation. You maybe uh, saw that the final happened just during the lunch break, um, and the results are going to be announced by Tim Niemüller. Thanks, Walter. Thank you, everybody, and especially thank you to the participants who put a lot of work into this to integrate the system, sometimes on the last minute, but still in time. So we have two prizes, uh, the runner-up and the winner, and the uh, runner-up is Team KCL from the King's College London. The winner of the competition is Team Kara T from RWTH Aachen University, and I'd like to welcome them on the stage. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I think we can slow down a little bit now. Uh, for the rest of the session, uh, we're going to talk about um, the influential paper and dissertation awards. Um, and this, as you will hear a bit more about, is, is handled by the ICAPS Awards Committee. Uh, the chair of the Awards Committee is David Smith, and David will um, manage uh, or handle the rest of the session pre and present the awards and say also a little bit about the process. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, <clears throat> It's a little bit of a mystery, I think, to, to many of you how this process works. Um, the Influential Paper and Best Awards um, process is handled by the ICAPS Awards Committee, um, and there's an open call for nominations, which probably most of you saw in, in the messages that came past. Uh, there are three committee members. Uh, they're elected for three years, uh, overlapping terms, and uh, the last year for each person, they're the chair. So this is my last year. Um, the other two members of the committee were uh, Daniel Barajo and, and Bly Bonet. Uh, Daniel will be the chair next year. Um, and I'm pleased to say that we have an incoming new member, uh, Sven Koenig, and I wanted to announce that so that he can't possibly back out. <laughs> um, this is, as you might imagine, a fair amount of work. Uh, the committee read eight dissertations this year, um, and we looked at approximately 15 papers for influential paper. Um, I will say a little bit more about the best dissertations later. <clears throat> okay, for influential paper, we had two honorable mentions. The committee this year looked at some older papers and decided we wanted to reward those before doing some of the more recent ones that had become eligible. Um, <clears throat> so uh, there are two. Uh, the first is uh, probabilistic planning with information gathering and contingent execution, which appeared way back in APS 1994, uh, before some of you were born. Um, uh, Denise Draper, Steve Hanks, and Dan Weld, I don't think any of them are here, um, but give them a big round of applause that they can hear in Seattle. Um, 
Uh, the other was complexity of planning with partial observability. Uh, UC Rintanen, I thought he was going to be here, but I have not seen him. Um, one of the challenges for the committee was uh, in figuring out which one of UC's papers to give the award to. He's done some very fine theoretical work um, and doesn't receive as many citations as some of, the other, uh, uh, some of the other authors, but we thought he was very deserving of the award, so please give him a round of applause. Uh, the two winners this year for the Influential Paper Award, one of them is an applications paper um, and the other is, uh, is more of a traditional paper. Um, the first is Planning in Interplanetary Space, Theory and Practice, uh, and that appeared way back in AIPS 2000. Ari Johnson, Paul, uh, Paul Morris, Nicola Mischetela, Kana Rajan, and Ben Smith. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, a knowledge-based approach to planning with incomplete information, which appeared in AIPS 2002. Um, I think Ron and uh, Fahim are both here. Please come up. Okay, now on to the best dissertations. Uh, the committee read eight dissertations this year. I didn't check all the proofs, but we actually did read them all. Um, and, um, uh, and it takes a good you know, week and a half or two weeks for us to do this. Um, so it's a lot of work, but it's also extremely rewarding. Right? There's a lot of things that I've learned over this process of reading 23 dissertations in three years. Um, uh, but I would do it again. Okay, we have, uh, we all felt that the, the dissertations this year were extremely strong, um, and they were last year as well. Uh, we have chosen two honorable mentions. Uh, the first is uh, Guillaume Francis, Effective Planning in Expressive Languages. Second is uh, Domain Independent Planning for Markov Decision Processes with Factored State and Action Spaces, Oswin Raghavan. Unfortunately, Oswin could not be here because of visa issues. Please give him a hand. Okay, now on to the winners. We have two winners as well. Uh, we could not select between these two. We thought they were both extremely strong. Um, and we thought they were strong because they had beautiful theoretical frameworks as well as really strong theoretical results uh, and experimental results. And so that's why these two stood out for us. Um, the first is New Perspectives on Optimal Cost Planning for Classical Planning, Florian Pomerani. The second is uh, uh, Michelle Stolba, uh, Reveal or Hide Information Sharing in Multi-Agent Planning. 